Yes, please. Yeah, who's there? Please come. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, please. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. Have a seat, please. Yeah, why are you here exactly? For which purpose? Yeah, who is this? Is she with you? May I come in, sir? Please, please come. Sir. Uh, excuse me, are you for the tea? No, sir. Oh, you're fainting. I'm, I'm sorry. Have a seat. Thank you, sir. Actually, you know, there is a ma'am actually. She brings some time tea as well, right? So good I afternoon. thought good afternoon. Okay, please. So why are you guys here for interview? Yes, yes sir. sir. When did you take appointment for this one? Is it for a walk-in interview or you just came from academy? Sir, it is yes, a walk-in walk interview. Walk -in interview. Okay, yes, by the way. Okay, so please run through your resume. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes, please. This is the... Here is... Please. Yes, tell me something about yourself. So, well, sir, my name is Amrita Singh. I am from Chandali district. I have completed my diploma in electrical engineering and now I am pursuing graduation. Apart from my educational qualification, I have some computer skill like ADC, Tally and Triple C. In my family, there are six members along with my parents. I have three siblings. My hobbies are writing, reading books and singing. Thank you so much. That's cool. Do you have the knowledge of computer as well? Yes. Very nice. Amrita, you know Tally? Yes, sir. How to create a company in Tally? Do you have knowledge about that? Uh, yes, sir, but it's been a too long time, so now I... You cannot recall that? Yes, sir. Do you know about go-downs? That how to make company and just make go-downs? Sorry, sir. You don't have knowledge. Yes. Okay. By the way, so what is the use of that learning computer if you don't have knowledge about that so sir, far? Actually, computer is all about practice. So mm -hmm. it's uh, been a long time. So that's why. What do you know about computer exactly? Do you still remember anything about computer? Uh, then why did you mention about that you have the knowledge of computer when you don't know anything? Hmm? You should tell the thing that you know exactly, right? So don't show off here, please. You're here for interview. It's not. By the way. What do you know about computer? Tell me, please. Sir, computer is a technology which is used in nowadays everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, computer is very important in nowadays. This definition, I think she also can tell. Have, have you learned computer or not? Yes, sir. She has I... learned. If I call anybody, if he does not know any basic of computer, but he knows that what is the use of the computer, right? So, it, it is not anything unique that you are going to tell about. By the way, tell me something about yourself. Sir, very good afternoon. Uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself in front of you. Mm -hmm. My name is Spurti Mishra. I belong from Jhasi, but my uh, but my recent residency is in Lucknow, Aligarh. Sir, uh, I com uh, I'm 22 years old. I completed my post graduation from Bundelkhand University. Okay. And uh, my hobbies are interacting people and uh, make a good communication is with them, helping mm -hmm. others, playing chess and uh, listening music. These are uh, my hobbies mm -hmm. and uh, I would like to share some of my abilities with you. Okay. So I'm self-motivated and a uh, good learner and a good communicator as well mm -hmm. as a good listener. Thank you so much for your precious and valuable time. That's, That's great. Right. You said about that you love listening song as well, right? Yes, sir. Which song did you listen last time? So uh, most of the time I love to learn uh, Atif Aslam's song. Learn or listen? Sorry, listen. Oh, then sorry, don't say learn. Sorry, sir. By the way, no problem. Atif Aslam. Yes, sir. Where is he from? Do you know? Yes, sir. He is from Pakistan. Okay. Another nation. Absolutely. Right. Which song did you listen to? My, I mean to ask that. Do you remember the song name exactly? Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay, fine. So are you going uh, through any breakup and all that you're listening no, to? No, sir. No, sir. This is one, uh, one and only my favorite song uh, okay. since my childhood. From, from uh, mm -hmm. when the hour of a movie came to us then, from that time, I love this song too. Absolutely right. Yes. Amrita, as far as I can see your CV exactly, uh, you got very less marks in English. What was the reason that you got very less marks in that? Sir? As you have mentioned in your CV, in high school you got, I think, uh, only 40 marks exactly out of 100. What was the reason exactly? May I know that? So, uh, like, I am belong, I am belong from a very 
Are you comfortable the way your talk is look like? It looks like that you're not comfortable. Do you need water exactly? Yes, I. By the way, I don't have bottle of water right now. I will just uh, yes, please. C can you just give a bottle of water? You can bring from there. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah. You can go from there. You can bring exactly. I'm sorry, I could not put exactly the bottle of water. Okay. It's going to bring exactly. Okay, so yeah, what was the reason exactly, Amrita? You got very less marks. So actually, I belong from very uh, rural area. Mm -hmm. I studied from very common government school. Mm -hmm. So there, there was not the such kind. The atmosphere, you mean? Yes, sir. That's why you got very less. Okay, by saying this one, it means that you underestimate the study of villages. So this is true. True. Yeah. Okay. By the way. What do you understand by communication? Now let me come to exactly. Uh, first of all, you already know that you're here for Indigo flight yes, to be a cabin yes, crew exactly. So best of luck and be comfortable. See, Thank it you, is is a kind of you have you're going to represent you know Indigo, and yes, you have to be very professional. So be you can be relaxed, and share whatever you know. I'm not going to slap you. I'm not going to abuse you. You don't know no problem. My question is to you. Yes. Sir. What is communication? Who would like to tell first? So, so, please. So, communication is all about what you want to say. Mm. It is exactly listener understand. Okay. So, that is all about communication. Okay. What do you mean by? Mm. So, uh, communication uh, communication is a kind of uh, talking with mm. a. You can talk to anyone, and uh, it's a part of communication. If okay. you make a good communication, that it uh, become. Um, Maybe uh, if you are a good uh, listener as well as a good speaker and a professional speaker, mm -hmm. it becomes a good communication. Ah, and, uh, I think cool. so. Good com uh, communi communication mm -hmm. is that kind of thing. Uh, if you will talk with the anyone, mm -hmm. it's uh, a part of communication. Okay. Amrita, what is instructive communication exactly? You know, sometimes the people do that. And if you become a cabin crew, so if you have to do like instructive communication, how would you do that? So instructive communication is all about to giving some instruction to others. Hmm. Yes, please, like, you can come. Yes, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Yes, please. Would you like to have this? Yes. Please have this. Thank you, sir. So, yeah, you can tell about what uh, I was asking about instructive communication. Please, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. So, instructive communication is all about to giving some instruction, like in flight. Cabin crews give instruction before the takeoff, oh. like you the number of uh, flight where it is go where it goes mm -hmm. and all about the instruction. So it is instruction com instructive communication. Uh, do you agree with her? Yes, sir, I am. Would you like to add anything? If you want, you can. Sir, uh, in instructive communication uh, you can definitely use in flight, mm -hmm. and uh, this kind of con uh, this kind of communication you can use anywhere if you want. According to the situation, you can use this. Okay. Amrita, why aviation? Not any other things. Why aviation exactly? Sir, actually, I believe that aviation is one of the professionally professional industry in all over the world. Mm -hmm. So that's why I choose aviation, sir. Okay, why cabin crew? In aviation, there are many streams, but sir, why cabin crew? Uh, because according to according to me, mm -hmm. uh, customer service is my one of my favorite thing I okay. would like to do. Absolutely. And um, if uh, uh, I am eligible uh, to be a cabin crew and uh, mm -hmm. I, th I think myself that I am eligible mm -hmm. so I applied for the cabin crew job and mm -hmm. uh, it's a uh, it um, this job has a different level of professionalism professionalism mm -hmm. and uh, as well as um, mm -hmm. the customer service okay. and uh, I would like to work in a customer support uh, and mm -hmm. a customer service okay. that's why I choose this uh, you're from Jhansi uh, I think so right yes sir I am. okay you know, I have seen, I have many friends from Jhansi exactly. Yes. They say that people do not allow girls to be the part of especially aviation as a cabin crew exactly. Because I'm sorry to say that the people are a kind of, you know, conservative. So what would you like to say? I mean, how did you make it possible to come in this stream exactly? Can you share something about that? Yes, sir. I would like to share something. Actually, I belong from a very rural area. Okay. Uh, in that area, hmm. girls are not allowed to do anything. Uh, if so they want oh. to, hmm. yeah, if they want to grow and uh, make themselves develop, hmm. developed and uh, 
in a good position mm -hmm. and uh, the uh, airline and mm -hmm. the cabin crew mm -hmm. uh, job and the aviation sector mm -hmm. they think that uh, this sector is totally uh, mm -hmm. this this sector is not made for the good uh, good pupils oh. they they think like this and Absolutely. i know i searched a lot about mm -hmm. the aviation and mm -hmm. uh, i want to mm -hmm. change their mentality mm -hmm. and at any cost i will try my best okay, to okay. improve their mentality and uh, to open the door of those girls who want to be a cabin crew and who also Wonderful. want to fly wow. this is the main uh, motive oh, thank you sir. so impressive answer okay amrita you know there are many industries yes. i will not take the name by the way so why Valley Indigo? Sir, Could because Indigo, Indi Indigo treat their employees hmm. as a family. Can you speak up please? Do you have any problem in speaking exactly because you speak quite slow, you know? Could you speak up please? You know, <coughs> HR is there, he's listening you as well. Okay, sir. So, yeah. Sir, like I, one thing I really like about Indigo, which is Indigo always treat their employees as a family. Like okay. we can see, I follow the pay, uh, official page of Indigo, mm -hmm. where every festival they celebrate like a family, like a team and mm -hmm. organization. Right. So this thing very uh, attract me. And the second thing, there is uh, they Indigo, especially the Indigo mm -hmm. airline, mm -hmm. who empowered the girl. Mm -hmm. They provided the batch. Mm -hmm. They they have their quotation about girl they mm. are empowering the girl and mm. this is the uh, next uh, like according to me this is a very great thought and they want to put in society absolutely right yes. you know when it comes to girls and especially a cabin crew yes the people just talk about grooming as well right yes. whenever we just talk about cabin crew a picture comes quite groomed lady right how do you maintain your grooming exactly being a girl especially uh, you know girls love doing these all the things but how do you maintain yourself could you please say something about that amrita yes sir hmm. there are so many person who who consume grooming as a makeup hmm. but grooming is not all about makeup grooming hmm. is all about your fitness hmm. and your appearance hmm. so according to me we can uh, maintain our grooming to do gymming hmm. and to diet hmm. what diet we have hmm. so this all thing we can maintain uh, our absolutely grooming. what do you understand by grooming so uh, good grooming is very important for the cabin crew job <clears throat> because they have to perform their duties in middle of the professionals so you have to uh, look to uh, look proper professional tip to top and that is really most important thing in uh, aviation sector as well as cabin crew job okay that's pretty cool Thank you. amrita could you please share something about what do you love to do when you're free at your laser time, what you'd like to do and what do you love to do exactly? Yes, sir. Actually, uh, I love to uh, reading books. So mm -hmm. inspiring from the books, mm -hmm. I love to write something and write something with not, with not uh, my perspective to mm -hmm. the other's perspective. Okay. For an example, like I, my elder, I have married elder sister. Mm -hmm. So she has six year old daughter. Mm -hmm. So one day she called me and told me that now I know, I exactly know the value of mother. Oh. So to the her perspective, I write something. So according to me, what did you write? Could you just share something about that? Yes, sir. It is kind of poetry. Okay. In uh, Hindi? Yes, sir. You can share if you remember that. Do you remember that poetry? Yes, sir. You can share that exactly. Okay, yeah. sir. Ma samasti nahi thi, har baat me rokti thi, har baat me tokti thi. Ma samasti nahi thi. Yaha mat jau, vaha mat jau. Hamesa kehti rehti thi, ma samasti nahi thi. Ye mat khao, wo mat khao, hamesa tokti rehti thi, ma samasti nahi thi. अब बाहर जा रही हो ये कपड़े मत पहनो वो कपड़े मत पहनो हमेशा टोकती रहती थी माँ समझती नहीं थी माँ आज मैं खुद एक बेटी की माँ हूँ मैं आज तुझे समझती हूँ तो क्यों और कैसे समझती नहीं ओह माय गॉड रियली यू नो यू मेड मी इमोशनल एक्सेक्टली वाव इट्स इट्स रियली इमेजिंग uh amrita why didn't you just go for being a poet exactly right you should become a writer of poet exactly sir maybe in my future hmm. i will do but now it's kind of my profession it's not okay bye uh when we just talk about passion and dream what is your passion exactly may i know about that passion and dream exactly what is yours 
सो माय पैशन इज टू बी बीइंग अ प्रोफेशनल लेडी लाइक इन आवर सोसाइटी लाइक आवर सोसाइटी इज वेरी ग्रोइंग इन नाउ टाइम एंड एवरीवन वांट टू बी अपडेट बट देयर आर सो मेनी पर्सन हु would not like to do this thing absolutely but uh, but i am belong from reg, uh, rural area but mm. i uh, but i want to mm-hmm. change this change mentality this mentality right? obviously okay. we have to upgrade at uh, amrita you know to be professional uh, you could go for another stream as well like you can be a professor as well you can exactly uh, be a professional why did you think about actually aviation to be professional so actually my grandfather is ex army man and my mm. father is policeman okay so yeah since my childhood i saw a one mm. discipline address oh okay yes sir. so like i have worked for sbi mm. as a branch relationship executive in sbi credit card you have worked account. yes sir. wow where one year in sbi uh, oh, i mean i mean where where in lucknow it's yeah no sir in my area okay sayed raja so uh, i work hmm. as as a designation of uh, hmm. branch relationship executive okay. so from there i inspire for the customer service mm-hmm. and i would always like to continue the chain of my family oh. like my grandfather as he served for the nation hmm. and my father is still he serving for the nation yeah. so according to my cabin crew is the designation mm-hmm. where we can maintain my professionalism industry as well and we serve for the citizens our citizens as well absolutely wow fantastic you are nation server exactly yes. right okay you know khub ladi mardani wo to jhansi wali rani the yes sir are you inspired by her she is from jhansi yes, exactly right? what do you uh, know about her sir uh, she is our queen wow oh. jhansi ki rani and uh, the heroic tales of jhansi ki rani is famous in all over the world mm-hmm. for her bravery mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so to be a girl from the jhansi i i i am inspired a lot from the jhansi ki rani and uh, her dedication of uh, the nation and her bravery inspired me a lot at the age of 21 mm-hmm. she was died and uh, that uh, that lady makes makes me inspired a lot to do everything if you i would like to say mm-hmm. a thing to every every girl and uh, every woman mm-hmm. uh, <clears throat> if you don't know about jhansi ki rani then you should watch mm-hmm. from anywhere google and youtube then you will learn a lot of things mm-hmm. and uh, they if you want to do something for mm-hmm. your freedom for your uh, uh, mm-hmm. position then you should inspired from the jhansi ki rani because uh, uh, he fought uh, he fight a lot Uh, with the uh, uh, with the foreigners for their uh, freedom or jhansi mm-hmm. freedom his uh, her famous dialogue is mai apni jhansi kabhi nahi dungi oh because he fight a lot and uh, he, she was not a selfish she uh, she fight for their uh, their civilians of jhansi mm-hmm. civilians mm-hmm. and the bravery and their uh, and her kindness mm-hmm. makes inspired me a lot and uh, all the women of jhansi that's cool yes uh everything is quite okay but yes, you know there are many people i have been taking today interview for since morning exactly right yes oh uh, i have asked the same question to everyone i'd like to ask you as well why should i hire you exactly there are many people yes, why sir. not them why you exactly hmm. because sir i think so i have the all i have all the eligibilities and the abilities which you are required required for this position Mm-hmm. That's why I applied, and I know. And uh, the one thing I would like to share with you that is uh, customer service, and one is my one of my favorite hobby, and uh, mm-hmm. I I love to do. Have you ever done that? Yes, I done in my past job. Oh, uh, what was the job? It was a. Uh, mm-hmm. I uh, my last job was in. Would you like to drink hotels. water because you're just like doing? Yes, sir. This. I want. You can have this place. Hmm. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, Amrita, I'd like to ask you that yes. the same question. Why should I hire you exactly? Sir, I would like to tell you two things. First hmm. thing is like whatever your eligibility criteria. According hmm. to me, I have all the thing. And hmm. second thing, I really want to become a cabin crew. <laughs> and I believe that where the one word came, <laughs> comes, comes huh? Huh? it like I can do anything for becoming a cabin crew. Oh my goodness! So that's what why, what what if you are not successful at this time? What will you do exactly? Sir, actually, this is cabin crew. Uh, mm-hmm. Cabin crew interview view is not like a one-time interview. It's right. 
uh, again uh, happen again and again okay so i will try every time what if you I reject it today so how are you going to have the reaction i have seen many girls you know is uh, give up exactly many girls actually go and start crying what will be your reaction sir actually i believe that if mm. i am not able to do this mm. job mm. there are no one to do this thing really, so one yeah. day i will achieve this thing and uh, mm -hmm. no worry today i am not able to mm. do this but mm. again and again i will try and one day i will definitely achieve this oh job. pretty cool yes please continue yes sir uh, so i already share you that uh, i have the eligibilities and the abilities which you are required for this position and uh, i am i can adapt to things easily mm -hmm. and uh, i have that uh, <coughs> motivation and uh, that uh, um sorry mm -hmm. come on come on because um, i think i mm -hmm. sir can you ask another question <laughs> okay no <laughs> problem recently? no okay. problem okay uh, amrita i'd like to ask you that when the name comes like uh, indigo could you just tell something about indigo what all do you know about indigo exactly like who is a kind of founder owner could you say about that sir founder <coughs> sorry founder of the indigo is uh, mm -hmm. rakesh bhatia mm -hmm. and rahul gangwal mm -hmm. and uh, current ceo of the indigo is peter albert okay and pretty cool Indigo is founded in 2026, hmm. and now it 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 becomes a. 2026, sorry sir. 2006, sorry sir. No, I heard 26. It has not come exactly. Sorry for interruption, sir. I think sir, it's a 2010. Are you sure? You buy? Yes, you sir. both are telling me. I you know, think because I learned about this and uh, I. I know what is the exact date exactly, but I'm just so shocked with looking you guys. You are saying 10, and you are saying she said the 26. It is. 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 Mm -hmm. and uh, indore what would you say so delhi mm -hmm. kolkata and mumbai okay pretty cool tell me that what if any passenger disagrees with you maybe uh, let me complete my question exactly sometimes you know while traveling what happens that if there is no availability of you know any food yes sir uh, customer starts you know getting irritated in the situation how are you going to console that you know sir customer? may i so sure. sir if if i struck uh, this kind of situation then first of all i will try to convince that person mm -hmm. and uh, after that if he is not he is not going to convince uh, with my opinion and mm -hmm. uh, he is not ready to uh, ready to uh, uh, to take uh, that uh, food then uh, after that uh, i will inform my senior crew mm -hmm. and uh, if uh, there is no uh, there is no solution then uh, we uh, then i will try Mm -hmm. uh, to convince another person okay. they uh, they can exchange the food mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, after that i can try to resolve the condition and solve this problem with myself okay please and, sir as uh, spurti says <coughs> mm -hmm. like first i would like to convince that person but if he is not ready to taking my advice and he is not in convincing mood mm -hmm. so i would like to convince another person who can mm -hmm. exchange our food and if the situation is not able to handle i am not able to handle that situation i would go to inform my senior okay amrita name three things that a passenger or customer expects from a cabin crew so passenger expects first thing is understanding like mm -hmm. cabin crew would be understand mm -hmm. to passenger mm -hmm. and second thing is comf uh, humble like nature mm -hmm. behavior mm -hmm. and third thing is uh, we can say mm -hmm. priority priority they of give, what they give priority to passengers okay not anything else yes please 
सर पैसेंजर्स एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम अस बेस्ट कस्टमर सपोर्ट सिस्टम ओके एंड बेस्ट कस्टमर सर्विसेज वट एवर दे आर दे आर रिक्वायर्ड फ्रॉम अस एंड सेकेंड वन इज सेफ्टी ही वॉन्ट्स टू मेक श्योर ही वॉन्ट्स दैट वी कैन वी शुड मेक मेक श्योर दैन दैट वी आर सेफ विथ विथ अस एंड and the third thing is they want uh, uh, that uh, they f- they feel some important that mm-hmm. they are important for me Absolutely. and for us so mm-hmm. they want the uh, importance and attention from our side that how will you deal with those people who will intend to harass you sometime in the flight it happens exactly now the intention of some of the people means passing some bad comments right in this yes, situation sir. how will you deal the situation sir first i would like to ignore this situation if this is not uh, major mm-hmm. but if it is major there are some uh, policy mm-hmm. to the um, mm-hmm. for the cabin crew for the cabin crews as well so mm-hmm. i inform my senior to take that uh, policies please so uh, first of all uh, what uh, what we can see that uh, that uh, whoever travel in the flight uh, mm-hmm. they may be a good citizen and mm-hmm. maybe a proper mindset city mindsets passengers mm-hmm. so normally i don't think so this kind of uh, things uh, happens or not maybe happens mm-hmm. but uh, firstly i will ignore and uh, if uh, they are going out of control then mm-hmm. they are uh, that uh, i will go with the uh, amtas answers because mm-hmm. uh, there are many policies mm-hmm. to uh, uh, to solve uh, this kind of uh, uh, problems okay and these kind of passengers how is your profile in your home what is the profile in your home being a girl you know i just want sir, to see your profile of your home sir my profile is quite good hmm. like my father consider me a very educated girl considered you or considers you sir considers me okay fine very uh, educated girl mm-hmm. like i can give you a example an example yes sir like last november hmm. my elder sister's marriage mm-hmm. so every uh, like to loan and every uh, fi- money uh, every accounting sis- uh, accounting and uh, mm-hmm. related to the money mm-hmm. work they give it to me mm-hmm. gave it to me mm-hmm. and totally he uh, believe me mm-hmm. so i think mm-hmm. my uh, reputation in my home is very well what is your profile in your home so uh, before some time ago <laughs> it was totally uh, is like that i am a disturbing element of my family oh. but uh, uh, but in nowadays i am seeing that uh, everyone is uh, slowly slowly coming in the mm-hmm. support system mm-hmm. with me then they are uh, they are uh, see, uh, looking that they are seeing that uh, she is doing something good mm-hmm. now i am able to change their mentality mm-hmm. so i am finding that uh, they have some respect uh, mm-hmm. for me and mm-hmm. uh, when i talk to them they always uh, motivates me right mm-hmm. now this is the this is the uh, thing that uh, mm-hmm. that uh, my uh, siblings as well as my family members uh, mm-hmm. is a used to th- used to think that uh, she uh, she will definitely do something good for absolutely. the future and for herself also absolutely so okay how do you want to how will you make your father feel proud because your father considers you as an educated person but you know when this title comes for us as an educated person sometimes a person becomes egoistic as well right so if your father considers you as an educated person maybe somehow you also can be an egoistic but you should not be exactly so how will you make your father feel proud what is the thing that your father can feel wow sir like my father always want to us wants wants to us like we will independent mm mm-hmm. so first thing i will do to in being mm-hmm. uh, being Mm-hmm. Uh, independent mm-hmm. and second thing my i don't know my father wa- wants to me or not but i think i want to make my own home oh great yes, great so this thing i think my father will be whenever i achieve my this goal my mm-hmm. father will be proud of me. what is your biggest achievement exactly so uh, my biggest achievement till now is came to here Hmm. from the that rural areas <laughs> yeah that is for me the biggest achievement for me okay yes sir oh my goodness because mm-hmm. i i won it was impossible to come yeah mm-hmm. definitely sir because there are many distractions for me especially mm-hmm. for me mm-hmm. so i i distraction or restrictions distractions uh, distraction or restriction restrictions yeah, sorry so so hmm. 
so uh, no one wants uh, no one uh, wanted at that time then uh, <coughs> should i go mm-hmm. then everyone was stopping me mm-hmm. and uh, from the different methods mm-hmm. but um, but uh, i want to do this mm-hmm. so i left everyone mm-hmm. and um, i break all the mm-hmm. limits of mm-hmm. my family and okay, <laughs> so okay. i came here and this is for me my biggest achievement and whenever i will mm-hmm. achieve something good mm-hmm. and a good position mm-hmm. then uh, it will good for me okay uh, dear girls it's quite impressive i'd like to ask you one more thing exactly what if any other company offers you to go would you like to go they are going to pay you more like right now if i'm paying you for example 10000 rupees for example okay. at the same time you are selected you are working exactly after one month if any other company offers you to work there and they will pay you 15000 rupees would you like to go no you no sir why because uh, uh, sir according to me my view is loyalty is also important for mm-hmm. a candidate mm-hmm. and if i worked here for one month and mm-hmm. you um you make us learn everything mm-hmm. you teach you teach uh, us and you uh, you give all the type of training of your company okay mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. i am a good candidate for you mm-hmm. after that if i am leaving that mm-hmm. it's a kind of uh, trust broken okay. that i make uh, i make that candidate perfect and she left uh, and he left so i will not go and uh, i want to work uh, uh after i i want to work a long period with you and uh, your company also do you work considering the job as a job or you work because and uh, considering as your eligibility sir, don't you consider your eligibility don't you love your eligibility sir, because you are being paid because of your eligibility not because of your sir, job sir i am i am uh, selling you my time my potential my eligibility that's mm-hmm. why you are paying uh, some amount for me the right? time that you are paying maybe can somebody can also pay the time No, but so you but are being paid this money exactly am, yes uh, no nee, i am perfect maybe he is not then what about uh, what you will do with me nee, like if you are saying i am doing a job you are working here so the same amount of money i also can pay to that person okay, right sir, sir hmm. just listen to me hmm. you uh, told that uh, we are selected and we are working hmm. okay so after that if we will get any other, any another company's proposal then we should say yes or no hmm. and hmm. my opinion is this i will say no no okay yeah. please sir <clears throat> the reason behind say no is like you hire when i am fresher mm-hmm. and they hire when i have some experience mm-hmm. so according to me you are a root for me you are a base uh, like a, a mm-hmm. kind of platform for mm-hmm. me so whenever someone hire to candidate they provide training mm-hmm. so you provide me training mm-hmm. this is your duty or responsibility mm-hmm. for a candidate so my responsibility at least i have some work for you oh my goodness so that's why uh, yes, emotionally you are kind of you know <laughs> you are uh, i can say rotating that no you know? sir uh, no sir uh, you make me a person when i am fresher and uh, you, you know sometimes there's ups and downs yes, with sir, company definitely. what yes. if this company sir, uh, i'm a kind of hr this is not my company exactly yes, right if this company goes down Sir, in this situation if do you quit or you will wait for that growth sir that is the time when you can check your your uh, loyalty of your employees exactly Then, this is why i'm asking you exactly would you like to yes. go or so at that time i am not going at all anywhere mm-hmm. after that uh, maybe if, maybe there will be a kind of issues with the salaries as well because company it's okay sir salary uh, sir uh, sorry to say i would mm-hmm. like to say something in hindi mm-hmm. पैसा सब कुछ नहीं होता और पैसे के बिना भी कुछ नहीं होता लाइफ sir uh, this is a kind sir, of buttering you know problem no sir problems uh, and uh, problems are not permanent problems are temporary mm-hmm, mm-hmm. if you are not paying me one month and two months and three months but after but uh, when and after that you will pay mm-hmm. that is not permanent absolutely so yeah, that is right. the thing sir like 
for an example in covid situation we can see yes. there are so many company in downs mm-hmm. so if the company think that we are not able to pay our employees mm-hmm. they fire their employees they absolutely not fire they they give they will they give a chance to they can apply to on, a, on anywhere so if the condition is very bad mm-hmm. the employ the ceo or the company will never want to mm-hmm. our employees to mm-hmm. work for without money mm-hmm. to t- days and days mm-hmm. and months and months mm-hmm. and so according to me if mm-hmm. ups and down situation if the company treat me as my family mm-hmm. so i will support our company as well mm-hmm. but the condition is very very uh, out like of control lost. yeah out of control so i think that the uh, that the ceo and the owner of the company will never want to absolutely yeah, right right that's right okay i'd like to ask you one thing uh, i would like to check your the style of greeting exactly like if you have to greet a passenger you will be given the training no problem with that yes, what sir. if any boy or if any passenger comes to shake hand with you right how are you going to do that can you just shake hand with her Yes, I want sir, to see that how will you do that. Come on, do that. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Welcome to Indigo. Can you just say hand again, please? Not to speak anything. Just. Oh, uh, for how many seconds could you be doing that? Oh, not two seconds. Sorry. Can you do that again, please? Why it is very like you know. Sir, uh, sir, we both are representing the different things. Did you notice? That is what I'm looking exactly. What is that? So I think if you notice then uh. after that that is the thing mm-hmm. then uh, then right I'm, now I'm you did just, that form sir sir just mm-hmm. a minute again please sir i uh, sir i am just uh, mm-hmm. make uh, i am just uh, making her welcome mm-hmm. making her welcome okay mm-hmm. and uh, she is like she is a passenger for me mm-hmm. so she is uh, she think uh, and passengers uh, thinks welcome then uh, mm-hmm. they thinks that uh, mm-hmm. we should make them feel mm-hmm. importance mm-hmm. so that is the thing over here in the last time you did like this so, like for example so you, what does it so uh, i did this give me first time you did like this second time you did like this in the last you did like this So last time I was to make you. You wanted to make me understand that he yes, was actually. Yes, yes, that was it. By the way, what are your weaknesses exactly? Weaknesses. Sir, my weakness. Sir, uh, I have only one weakness, and uh, that is uh, sometimes sometimes uh, commitment. Oh. Yeah, I am that kind of person who complete uh, our 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 commit uh, our uh, sorry my, our commitment my, my at my any cost. Our commitment is to take the people's commitment. No, no, no. And uh, what I. What do you mean by our commitments? Sir, just listen to me. Mm-hmm. Let me complete my point. Mm-hmm. Sir, I am that kind of person who make our com our commitment complete at any cost. So that thing I am expecting from the another one, and uh, most of the time I find myself disappointed. So, mm-hmm. uh, so sometimes it it uh, is a weak weakness we can mm-hmm. say, but. Uh, Amrita, what is your weakness? So my weakness is if I have some responsibility for mm-hmm. an example of my job mm-hmm. and all, mm-hmm. I'm very indulged on this. So sometimes my family also uh, mm-hmm. say me, you are totally involved in your work. Mm-hmm. So I, according to me, according to my family, this is my weakness. Okay, by the way, how well prepared you are you today for this interview? Did you do anything for this interview today or not? Yes, sir. So, uh, mm-hmm. please ma'am mm-hmm. sir uh, according to me for interview why do you use too much according to me according to me according to me <laughs> don't you think that sounds funny too much using yes please by the way so i believe that um, for interview we have to uh, prepare mentally mm-hmm. so uh, today i am prepared mentally mentally yeah. that's cool okay if i ask you what are you what are you exactly what do you mean so you now i am interviewee mm-hmm. and in my life i am like i have so many masks mm-hmm. like in my institute i am a student in mm-hmm. my home i am daughter i am sister mm-hmm. and how do you want to see yourself exactly as a cabin crew absolutely yeah no. as a cabin crew please yes sir mm, so, the same question exactly sir can you repeat the question again it means that you are not here sir i am just uh, uh, listen her point of views that's why my question was to her what are you Sir, first of all, I am trainee over here, and as well as I am a 
good uh, student and a uh, mm -hmm. good family member and a uh, good uh, national national uh, national candidate okay pretty cool okay what is your expectation of the salary exactly from this industry so Mm -hmm. so, so. Actually, I am fresher, mm -hmm. and company has their own policy mm -hmm. and uh, eligibility. Mm -hmm. So, whatever company pays me, it is good enough for me. Sir, I have previous experience, but uh, in corporate sector, not in aviation sector. Mm -hmm. So, in avi aviation sector, I am totally fresher. Okay. So, I would like to go with the company's policies, whatever they are paying for me. The best they place that you ever visited. So actually, since my childhood, Lucknow is my uh, dream city, <laughs> used to my dream city. In okay. 2021, I came here. Uh -huh. So, Lucknow is like, yeah, uh, now. It is still, right? Yeah. Can you just tell something about Lucknow? Sir, one thing which is I really like about Lucknow, there are so many things which is handmade. Oh, what is like, that? Yeah, there are so many uh, sceneries which is uh, like, in marbles, they hmm. work on marbles. Where is that exactly? I want to know. Where is that? I have been many times in Lucknow, exactly. You know? Okay, in UP, sir. In UP, yes, but sir. handmade you're talking about. I have also been in Lucknow, exactly. I have been to Lucknow, but I want to see you, the thing you're talking about. Is that a kind of clock tower you're talking about? No, sir. Like uh, the, uh, in Lucknow, there is uh, one place, Chinhat, which is famous for the uh, clay pot clay things okay. which is famous for yeah okay this okay. is a kind of handmade thing and all so that is the thing that you love yeah really love. in lucknow there are two things those are known as chicken yeah chicken curry. it is also a handmade thing okay uh, means uh, chicken for eating no sir uh, that chicken. is a ch chicken for eating chicken it for is eating. art sir which is uh, which no, is, uh, there are two things chicken for eating famous yeah. chicken for wearing as well chicken biryani for eating hmm. and chicken curry for clothing Sorry. chicken curry yes. chicken curry is a kind of chicken curry oh i'm kind sorry i thought that you're talking about chicken curry you know yes, curry okay where did you ever visited any best place ever in your life Yes, sir. I once in a time, once mm -hmm. upon a time, I go to Vrindavan, Vachra Vrindavan. Mm -hmm. So that is the best place ever for me. Mm -hmm. Those person, uh, persons of Vrindavan is mm -hmm. very kind, kind-hearted and very soft-hearted. Their way of talking is very, mm -hmm. very good. And um, their mm -hmm. envi the environment of Vrindavan mm -hmm. is really peaceful. Mm -hmm. And uh, and when you enter in the boundary of Vrindavan, then mm -hmm. you will uh, you will feel that uh, you are. Uh, you are on that person which mm. you can only live happiness there Absolutely. is no sadness yeah. okay pretty there cool are foreigners and indians both are uh, live together and mm. they dance together enjoy together so one of the best uh, place i ever visit this that is vrindavan for absolutely me. you are gonna be the cabin grip for india right yes, yes. can you hold for a while please you speak about this flag what do you think about this flag and can you just share something about that so uh, first thing I would like to tell is this is a uh, this flag is honor for all Indians. Absolutely. And uh, in our flag there is three color: right. orange, white, and green. Yeah. Orange is also uh, orange is uh, green is presented to the greenery of our India, and mm -hmm. white is, white is for peace, mm -hmm. and orange is for uh, shan. Uh, is for sacrifices. Sacrifices, yeah. Okay. The blood of our uh, soldiers. Okay. And in the center there is a wheel uh, mm -hmm. which indicates uh, Ashok, Ashok Chakra. Chakra yeah. mm -hmm. When you see a flag, what comes in your mind? The thing you said that comes in your mind or something else? Sir, when I see a flag, first I have goosebumps mm -hmm. because this is a pride for all Indians. Huh. Yeah, then, then maybe some of the pictures, right? That must be pinching you. Yes, yeah, so whenever be... I see the flag, I always thought about the soldiers. Oh. And the soldiers. What about you? Huh. Sir, uh, flag is a very beautiful hmm? thing of every nation. Yeah, absolutely. So Not only. when I, I saw my hmm. flag, then uh, every time one thing hits my mind hits mm. in my mind a lot of time mm -hmm. because if uh, every citizen wants to flag uh, flag hosting and uh, uh, wants to feel honored by our mm -hmm. flag so first of all they should learn about the respect mm -hmm. because in india we saw many times and actually i fight one time uh, one time with the stranger mm -hmm. and uh, because um, because of the school boy hmm. uh, throw the uh, throw the flag in on the road okay. and one person 
drive oh no so that is really uh, sorry i am having goosebumps at that time because that uh, really hits me a lot what is the thing is going on in mm. our country mm. if we wants to fly if we, if we, if we're talking about uh, mm. the bravery the peacefulness mm. the greenery and each and everything and and uh, what uh, what i am seeing at that time so right, right. so first of all uh, we should learn about the respect we should absolutely, maintain it absolutely absolutely at any cost I also would like to add something. My thought, whenever I see, especially Indian flag, yes, sir. anywhere if I see exactly, I a message hits me. That is unity exactly. Yes, sir. Right, unity. It shows a kind of this flag. It's actually you know showing unity. Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Isai, आपस में सब भाई भाई. Yes, sir. It shows, but actually we don't understand the real meaning of this flag exactly, right? we hoist the flag when it comes 15 august or 26 january but we should consider flag just like you know the unity and everything exactly that's up right absolutely it is it is by the way i'd like to ask uh, one more question then yes, after sir. that i'll i'll be telling to my hr to be selected exactly or not yes, sir, sure. okay mm, the question is after being a cabin crew yes how wh- how and what would you like to do exactly not how what would you like to do if you become a cabin crew what will be your next adventure to do sir like for being an indian everyone uh, consider as our communication for example in english mm-hmm. are very uh, like very mm-hmm. so did you guys learn anywhere english language like everything that we have talked about except that poetry poetry we actually discussed in english language so did you ever learn english yes, language yes sir definitely mm. uh, i learned english from a particular place that's uh, name mm. is peltoff institute and oh where is that uh, sir is situated uh, in lucknow okay okay yes so uh, uh, so uh, we learned many things and uh, uh many things about the public speaking and uh, about the communication grooming and personality development as well as whatever you can see in me that uh, whole credited is goes to that person and uh, our leader yeah, oh, actually okay, my cool. leader my teacher so after being a cabin crew you will focus on a communication skill yes sir don't you think that it should be focused before being a cabin crew no sir um, let me complete i am not focus on my communication i want to try uh, like uh, so many foreigner come india mm-hmm. and they travel through the uh, airplane so i would like to interact with those person and feel uh, feel comfortable like okay. you are you are in india mm-hmm. but you don't underestimate uh, indians communication as okay miss you want to learn other languages too yes sir we are okay. to yes. handle you so how many languages do you know right now exactly yes, sir, right now i know hindi english and bhojpuri आओ oh, भोजपुरी you know yes sir. do you know भोजपुरी sir i know bundelkhandi because i belong from the bundelkhandi how how is it spoken can you speak in a sentence with them yes sir definitely how is that come on if you have to say that uh, have you eaten food what will you say uh, okay sir humne to khana kha lo tumne khao ke nahi khao agar nahi kha to kha liyo dharo hai bhai main bas oh wow in भोजपुरी what to say sir it is अनकंफर्टेबल फॉर मी बट खाना खा लेला कि ना ओ मक लेला आ इट्स ऑन सॉरी बाय द वे डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन फॉर मी एग्जैक्टली यू हैव आस्क्ड अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन टू दिस एचआर एग्जैक्टली यू कैन आस्क आई वुड लव टू टेल यू सर फॉर आई वुड लाइक टू क्वेश्चन आस्क यू व्हाट इज योर एक्सपेक्टेशन फॉर योर कैंडिडेट फॉर माय कैंडिडेट सी Here I have taken interviews a lot today exactly maybe tomorrow as well I'll have to go for other place to take interview for yes, the interview I've seen people the people are making only one mistake that is fluency as well as proficiency well fluency sometimes the people understand that is speaking quite speed is fluency but that is not actually people have a lot of mistake I have a lot made a lot of mistake that is only the thing they are speaking too fast because they want to make me understand that yeah i am fluent speaker but that is not and the second thing that is proficiency the people is speaking this language they are not proficient in that you guys are going to represent industry and that is indigo when a customer must be interacting with you 
you should speak the language that should be quite proficient that should be quite up to date it's not be quite yes. common language so i've seen this one in the candidates that the people actually have the common language skills so but you guys did well job but not that much proficient but you did well job exactly i have just taken a uh, video has been shot hr will watch and he will decide about you that you are selected or not okay, sir. Okay, sir, thank any you. other thank question you. to you uh, to me exactly sir like whatever you say hmm. it is all about understanding mm -hmm. like you don't have to speak hmm. louder you don't have to speak more flow absolutely not it's up see consider an interviewer if an interviewer if an interviewer is speaking having american accent so if you have that much eligibility try to speak like that try to yes, speak sir. like him exactly but if you consider that he, oh my god he doesn't know how to speak american english don't speak otherwise it will be a kind of or smart right so means to live in rome do as romans do that's yes, it yes sir sir there are so many person who have who is very uh, they are very good in communication Absolutely. but they have no not that much mm -hmm. like we can say mm -hmm. understanding or thought mm -hmm. so what you will do for that i'm not going to do anything why should i do for anything i'm like here you will hire or not uh one who is not very good in communication mm -hmm. no those are very good in communication uh -huh. but they have not that much good enough thought uh -huh. and understanding mm -hmm. so see what does communication mean it means someone who talks having great thought so if he has or she has communication skill it means that he will have thought so it is another thing when when we take the name of communication whether it is verbal communication or instructive communication persuasive communication he will have a great thought so we we should not talk about the thought he will have definitely thought because he has communication skill absolutely right okay so okay thank, thank you very you much exactly thank you so much sir have a very nice day thank you sir